Right, uh, thanks very much. Good evening everybody and uh, thank you very much indeed for the invite to be here tonight. Um, I really do appreciate it. I love coming down to Port Elizabeth and I also enjoy uh, sharing some ideas around the, uh, the concept of sustainability and particularly what it means to business and how business uh, is reacting to sustainability. Um, the whole concept of sustainability um, is changing within the business environment and it's all wrapped up with ethics, it's wrapped up with corporate social responsibility and it's very difficult to, to split all of these concepts today and hopefully I'll be able to share with you uh, some exciting developments that are happening in the field today and uh, hopefully uh, I'll also be able to get uh, you to become more interested in the topic. Well, let's start with uh, sustainability and, and really what, what it means. Here we go. Th that's a definition of sustainability, of sustainable development um, today. It's the most common uh, definition for sustainable development. And essentially what it's about is uh, allowing development that meets the, the needs of the present without prejudicing the um, the, the future generations. And I guess everybody in this room knows uh, what we're talking about with sustainability. Young people generally are much closer to the topic than the older people. You know, I grew up in a generation when sustainability really was, was not even mentioned. We used to talk about bear huggers and tree huggers and, and so on. Um, and it, it was really back in 1983 when the General Assembly of the United Nations uh, called together a group called the Brundtland Commission under the Finnish Prime Minister, ex uh, Finnish Prime Minister Gru Brundtland, um, and they asked this group, this commission, to investigate allegations that were being made by um, environmentalists and scientists about the degradation of the environment. And that's starting from 1983 to 1987. And they came out with the, what's called our Common Future um, Report um, on Sustainable Development. And it's an interesting concept. S sustainable Development um, really comes about was, a, was a, something that they, they put together. The, the problems facing the environment were obviously uh, very important and they found that uh, there was evidence of, of pollution, there was evidence of global warming, etc. But they realized that, in fact, if they came back to the United Nations and said, look, we've got to stop progress, we've got to uh, cut back on, on economic development, etc., they realized that that would never work. And so they came up with a concept of sustainable development. And what sustainable development means is that you can allow economic development to take place providing it doesn't degrade the environment. But what they've also realized was that there's a social side to it as well. In other words, if you want to address the environmental problems that face us in the world today, you have to involve the whole world, everybody in the world. But there are many people in the world that are very poor. Um, so the, the, the equation came out as, okay, we can allow economic development, providing you don't affect the environment, but there must be social upliftment with it. And that's really the, the circle that you can see from that slide around sustainable development and where it came from. There was lots and lots of criticism of it, and there still is today. Um, but that's where sustainable development came from. And uh, if any of you know that famous author from us from uh, Russia, uh, Alexander Solzhenitsyn, that really sums up uh, the issue around environmental degradation today. We actually live in a finite world. You know the issues. I don't have to tell you what they are, those are just some of the issues around environmental degradation, the challenges that are facing us today in this world. Uh, water, uh, food, 
um, energy, and of course global warming, climate change, etc. All of those issues are the environmental issues that face us today. But there are a lot of social issues as well. And the one at the top there, world population. When I was born in 1949, you can hear your minds ticking over now, you're trying to work out my age. 50, that's right, well done. When I was born in 1949, the world population was 2.5 billion people. It's over 7 billion today. So in my lifetime, the world population has almost tripled. Now think about that. 7 billion today, and you know the challenges that face us. Let's assume that the population had to triple again over the next 60 years. Can you imagine what impact that would have on, on the world? It can't happen. In fact, it's unlikely that the population, world population will go over 10 billion because there are a whole lot of social factors that are affecting it. But if that had to happen, it would have tremendous problems for us. Poverty, a major problem facing us from a social perspective, and early on I said that we cannot address the problems facing the world today unless everybody in the world contributes to it. And if you don't own anything, if you don't have anything, you're not going to participate in it. We are improving the poverty situation. Uh, the proportion of people that live in poverty today are small, is smaller than it was, say, 10, 15 years ago. Uh, but it's still a major problem. It's a major problem in Africa and in South Africa as well. And then unemployment, as we know in this country, a high rate of unemployment. But there's also increasing unemployment around the world. But the real problem facing us is the one of consumption. As we consume more and more, and the population grows, it means that we consume those resources, those endangered resources, um, and we're going to run out of them. The waters, the food, uh, the energy, those are the problems that face us, and the pollution and global warming that, that goes with it. And just look at that slide at the top, you'll see that part of that indicates the increase in the world population over the last 300 years. And the lighter orange at the top shows how the population has increased in developing countries, and the darker orange at the bottom is the population increase in developed countries. Now, if you relate it back to consumption, people that live in developing countries tend to be poorer. So, if we all had to have the same standard of living, and if we wanted to live the same way as the people in the US live, we would probably need three and a half worlds to be able to provide that, um, the resources to be able to live at that level. So that really encapsulates what the problem is facing us as humankind. So what does that mean to companies? Well, 51% of the top 100 economies in the world are companies. So you can't leave companies or corporations out of this equation at all. It's as important to them as it is to you and I. So what I want to do is just look at how things have changed in companies over the years around this concept of sustainable development. Bear in mind it only came into being in the 1980s. Uh, but let's have a look at the concept of corporate social responsibility. And that's the evolution of it. And that's what we're going to talk about tonight. Back in uh, the early 20th century, there were a number of companies around the world, not many, but there were some, that uh, had social, a social conscience. A company like Cadbury's, for example, would build housing for its people and, in fact, uh, build communities. Um, and it was done in very much in a philanthropic way. Um, it was a handout. You also saw companies in this country, like Anglo-American, the, they would have their chairman's fund and they'd make donations to worthy causes, etc. It was very much charity. That's how businesses operated right up until probably uh, the mid-1980s, when 
when the uh, Brundtland Commission report came out uh, and, and uh, indicated what challenges were facing humankind, a number of companies, and I've put some of them up there, Ben & Jerry's, which is an ice cream manufacturer in the US and UK, the body shop, you'll know the body shop. They started looking at the products that they, present, they put together um, and said, well, we need to be more environmentally friendly, and they started making changes around it.